Welcome to Data Catch Up YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to this channel for more empowering data science videos. How to pass the DA 100 exam for data analysts. Free resources. Given the increasing demand of data analysts, certifications like Exam DA 100, Analyzing Data with Microsoft Power BI, is really beneficial. They validate your expertise and equip you with their industry relevant skills for using Power BI. Preparation for this exam demands huge investment in time and effort. You need to be consistent and determined so as to crack the exam. Also, you need to refer genuine and authentic resources while learning. Here I present a preparatory guide to help you pass the exam effortlessly. What is DA100? Analyzing data with Microsoft Power BI. As a data analyst, your role would be to enable businesses to maximize the value of their data assets using Microsoft Power BI. This exam equips you with the understanding to become a subject matter expert who is responsible to perform the following task. Firstly, designing and building scalable data models. Secondly, cleaning and transforming data. Lastly, enabling advanced analytic capabilities to provide meaningful business value using easy to comprehend data visualizations. Further, data analysts also collaborate with key stakeholders across vertical, verticals to deliver relevant insights based on identified business requirements. Why choose Microsoft DA 100 exam? The highly acclaimed Microsoft DA 100 exam accelerates your career growth and definitely helps you climb up your professional ladder. This certification exam also guarantees the following benefits. A. Validates your skills. B. Higher growth opportunities. C. Enhances employability. D. Provides competitive edge. E. Brings recognition. Exam name. Analyzing data with Microsoft Power BI. Technology, Microsoft Azure. Prerequisites, none. Exam cost, 165 USD. Total questions, 40 to 60 questions. Passing score, 700. Exam duration, 180 minutes. Retirement date, none. Languages, English, Japanese, Chinese, simplified, Korean. Skills measured. 1. Prepare the data 20 to 25%. 2. Model the data 25 to 30%. 3. Visualize the data 20 to 25%. 4. Analyze the data 10 to 15%. 5. Deploy and maintain deliverables 10 to 15%. 1. Prepare the data 20 to 25%. Microsoft Learning Path. Prepare data for analysis. Get data from different data sources. Identify and connect with data source, Microsoft documentation, data sources, and Power BI desktop. Change data source settings, Microsoft documentation, manage data sources. Select a shared data set or create a logical data set. Microsoft documentation, where your workbook file is saved, makes a difference. Select a storage mode, Microsoft documentation, select a storage mode. Choose an appropriate query type, Microsoft Documentation, Query Overview in Power BI Desktop. Identify query performance issues, Microsoft Documentation, Fix Performance Issues. Use the Common Data Service, CDS, Microsoft Documentation, What is Common Data Service. Use parameters, 1. Profile the data, 2. Identify data anomalies, Microsoft Documentation, Visualize anomalies using batch detection on Power BI. 3. Examine data structures. Microsoft documentation simplify the data structure. 4. Interrogate common properties. 5. Interrogate data statistics. Microsoft documentation worldwide demographics and statistics using Power Query and Power View. Clean, transform, and load the data. Resolve inconsistencies unexpected or null values, and data quality issues. Microsoft documentation tips and tricks for creating relationships in Power BI Desktop. 2. 
apply user-friendly value replacements. Microsoft documentation replace values. Three, identify and create appropriate keys for joins. Microsoft documentation model relationships in Power BI Desktop. Four, evaluate and transform column data types. Microsoft documentation evaluates and change column data types. Five, apply data shape transformations to table structures. Microsoft documentation shape and combine data in Power BI Desktop. Six, combine queries. Microsoft documentation merge queries. Seven, apply user-friendly naming conventions to columns and queries. Eight, leverage advanced editor to modify Power Query M code. Microsoft documentation, the advanced editor. Eight, configure data loading. Nine, resolve data import errors. Microsoft documentation, resolve data import errors. Two, model the data 25 to 30%. Microsoft learning part, model data in Power BI. Design a data model. Define the tables, Microsoft documentation, tables and Power BI reports and dashboards. Configure table and common properties. Define quick measures, Microsoft documentation, use quick measures for common calculations. Flatten out a parent-child hierarchy. Define role-playing dimensions, Microsoft documentation, role-playing dimensions. Define a relationship, cardinality, and cross-filter direction. Microsoft documentation, cardinality. Design the data model to meet performance requirements. Microsoft documentation optimization guide for Power BI. Resolve many-to-many -many relationships. Microsoft documentation, many-to-many -many relationship guide. Guidance. Create a common table date. Define the appropriate level of data granularity. Develop a data model. Apply cross-filter direction and security filtering. Microsoft documentation enabled bi-directional cross-filtering for direct query in Power BI Desktop. Create calculated tables. Microsoft documentation creates calculated tables in Power BI Desktop. Create hierarchies. Create calculated columns. Microsoft documentation creates calculated columns in Power BI Desktop. Implement role level security roles. Microsoft documentation restricts data access with role level security RLS in Power BI Desktop. Set up the QA feature. Microsoft documentation use Power BI, QA, and AA to explore your data and create visuals. Create measures by using DAX. Use DAX and build complex measures. Microsoft documentation, create and use your own measures. Use calculate to manipulate filters. Microsoft documentation, DAX, avoid using filter as a filter argument. Implement time intelligence using DAX. Microsoft documentation, time intelligence functions. Replace numeric columns with measures. Microsoft documentation, replace. Use basic statistical functions to enhance data. Microsoft documentation statistical functions. Create semi-additive measures. Microsoft documentation defines semi-additive behavior. Optimize model performance. Remove unnecessary rows and columns. Identify poorly performing measures, relationships, and visuals. Microsoft documentation optimization guide for Power BI. Improve cardinality levels by changing data types. Microsoft documentation data reduction techniques for import modeling. Improve cardinality levels through summarization. Create and manage aggregations. Microsoft documentation create and manage aggregations. Make sure to watch the very end of this video to understand in depth how you can easily pass this exam. Also make sure to subscribe to this channel for more tech videos. Three, visualize the data, 20 to 25%. Microsoft learning parts, visualize data in Power BI. Create reports. Additional visualization items to reports. Microsoft documentation, add visuals to a Power BI report. Choose an appropriate visualization type. 
Microsoft Documentation, Visualization Types, and Power BI. Format and configure visualizations. Microsoft Documentation, getting started with the formatting pane. Import a custom visual. Microsoft Documentation, Visual Files. Configure conditional formatting. Microsoft Documentation, use conditional formatting in tables. Apply slicing and filtering. Microsoft Documentation, Slicers and Power BI. Add an R or Python visual. Microsoft Documentation, create Power BI visuals by using Python. Configure the report page. Microsoft Documentation, change the display of a report page. Design and configure for accessibility. Microsoft Documentation, design Power BI reports for accessibility. Create dashboards. Set mobile view. Microsoft Documentation, optimize a dashboard for mobile phones, Power BI. Manage ties on dashboard. Microsoft Documentation, edit or remove a dashboard tie. Configure data alerts. Microsoft Documentation tutorial, set alerts on Power BI dashboards. Use the Q&A feature. Microsoft Documentation QA on dashboards. Add a dashboard team. Microsoft Documentation use dashboard teams in Power BI service. Pin a live report page to dashboard. Microsoft Documentation pin an entire report page as a live tie to a Power BI dashboard. Configure data classification. Microsoft Documentation dashboard data classification. Enrich reports for usability. Configure bookmarks. Microsoft Documentation creates reports in Power BI Desktop to share insights and build stories. Create custom tooltips. Microsoft Documentation customize tooltips in Power BI Desktop. Edit and configure inter interactions. Microsoft Documentation change how visuals interact in the Power BI report. Use the selection pane. Use drill through and cross filter. Drill down into data using interactive visuals. Microsoft Documentation drill mode in the visual in Power BI. Export report data between visuals. Microsoft Documentation export the data that was used to create a visualization. Configure navigation for a report. Apply certain. Microsoft Documentation Search by column in Power BI Desktop. Configure sync slicers. Microsoft Documentation sync and use slicers on other pages. 4. Analyze the data 10 to 15%. Microsoft Learning Path Data Analysis in Power BI. Enhance reports to expose insights. A. Apply conditional formatting. Microsoft Documentation use conditional formatting and tables. Apply slicers and filters. Perform top-end analysis. Explore statistical summary. Microsoft Documentation Explore statistical summary. Use the Q&A visual. Microsoft Documentation Use the Q&A visual. Add the quick insights results to a report. Microsoft Documentation Review quick insights. Create reference lines by using analytics pane. Microsoft Documentation Use the analytics pane. Use the Play Axis feature of a visualization. Perform advanced analysis. Identify outliers. Microsoft Documentation identify outliers with Power BI visuals. Conduct time series analysis. Microsoft Documentation conduct time series analysis. Use groupings and innings. Microsoft Documentation use grouping and binding in Power BI Desktop. Use the key influencers to explore dimensional variances. Microsoft Documentation find important factors with the key influencers visual. Use the decomposition tree visual to break down a measure. Microsoft Documentation use the decomposition tree visual to break down a measure. Apply AI insights. Microsoft Documentation use AI insights on Power BI Desktop. 5. Deploy and maintain deliverables 10 to 15%. Microsoft Learning Path, Data Analysis and Power BI. 
manage data sets. Configure a data set scheduled refresh. Microsoft documentation, configure scheduled refresh. Configure role level security group membership. Providing access to data sets. Microsoft documentation, build permission for shared data sets. Configure incremental refresh settings. Microsoft documentation, incremental refresh in Power BI. Endorse a data set. Microsoft documentation, promote your data set, Power BI. Create and manage workspaces. Create and configure a workspace. Microsoft documentation, create the new workspaces in Power BI. Recommend the development lifecycle strategy. Assign workspace roles. Microsoft documentation, roles in the new workspaces. Configure and update a workspace app. Microsoft documentation, change your published app. Publish, in part, or update assets in a workspace. Microsoft documentation, publish an app in Power BI. Preparatory guide for Microsoft exam DA100. The key to successfully pass an exam is by preparing right. Preparations demand consistency and determination. There are many resources available for your preparations. You must have the right information and tools to crack the exam. Free resources. 1. Microsoft Docs. Microsoft Docs.com Learn Certification Exams DA100. 2. Exam Topics. ExamTopics.com. I wish you the best of luck with the exam and hope this video for DA100 Exam Study Guide has helped you in your preparation for the exam. I would love to hear your experiences on the exam or any general tips you may have. Feel free to share them in the comments below. Continue learning and practicing. Make sure to subscribe to this channel to get more insightful data science videos.